So let's uh, make our fireball look a little bit better. We're going to want that to look like it's on fire, actually. So... In our update... Let's also make it spin a little bit. So we'll create something called spin speed. And we'll set it to a hundred maybe. We'll see how that looks. Let's make it 360. I'll spin a full 360 in a second. So same thing like we did with our X. So it's going to be our image at angle. All right, rotation of the image in degrees. We're going to plus equal FP dot elapsed times spin speed. We'll check it out. Let's see if these fireballs look any better. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's going backwards, though, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, later, fireball. So, I mean, these, these, aren't, these, these aren't scary fireballs yet. And that just doesn't even make sense. Where's that guy going? <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go ahead for the sake of debugging. In our game world, we're going to go ahead and comment out all this. So the only thing that it should be making now is fireballs. Fireball, 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 fireball. So the first things first, let's get rid of this kind of grain. You can see that graininess on there. That's an image property. We can say image dot smooth. Make it so smooth. How smooth is that? That's way smooth. So next, let's get these guys spinning in the right direction. So we realized that our spin speed was was wrong. Um, but like we did with our current speed, let's go ahead and make a new protected variable called current spin speed. It's also going to be a number. And when we create it, based on how we set it up on the on the screen left or right, current spin speed is going to equal negative spin speed. Spin speed. Gonna copy that over for now and try it out. Alright, so those guys are still wrong. Actually, everything's still wrong. Everything's the worst. Cause you'd figure that the little fiery part would be going. Alright, let's stop that. So what we're going to want to do is flip our sprite based on where we spawn from. So image dot we'll find something in here that'll be good. Flip maybe. Flipped. Oh look at that. Hmm. How about that? There's a property for it. Image dot flipped. Alright so those guys are looking good. Those guys look like they're going backwards. We should be able to set this to positive. So those guys are spinning the right way. Looks like those guys need to be flipped as well. That's a good looking fireball right there. No, nope, those guys are still doing a bad job.
It's still looking wrong. Those guys good. Those guys not good. They need to be going the other way. I thought we already sussed this out. There's no way to know what this is there. Maybe I just got weird eyes on. Oh, or maybe I'm just a big dummy. I'm just a big dummy. Let's actually use our current spin speed instead of that constant there. That should fix a lot of stuff up. Or make everything terrible. Alright, so that's terrible. That's So I've got it all wrong now. Now everything's wrong. Let's put the negative there. Drop the negative at the top. There we go. So now if they're spawning on this side, they're going to spin this way. That'll be anti-clockwise, and if they're here, they're going to spin clockwise. Still looks a little bit slow. Let's speed this up a little bit. Hmm, that's looking dangerous. Oh, that's looking even more dangerous. Dare we say a thousand? A thousand? Oh, that's too that's too dangerous. <laughs> Let's drop back down. Let's go 720. That's gonna be the right amount of dangerous. Oh yeah. So you're gonna want to dodge these guys. But again, you can see that they're not really hurting us. So let's go ahead and fix that. <laughs>